pillow or a pillow or a mat under the knee, so you lift up the leg and sit under the knee in order to release the abdominals and you get to work um, the internal organs a little bit here. Your body comes along her body, place one palm, ask her to breathe in there, and exhale, circling clockwise, four times. bring your above her belly button here. Inhale, as she exhales, you press down towards the end of the exhale, you make a wave. And again, exhale, so the heel, center, fingers drag. And last one, press down, heel, shoulders. Once you reach the shoulders, you press down equally on both sides as you lift your hips up. And then you come to stand across your partner and using your palms, you circle her rib cage. Sliding the fingers under the lumbar on either side of the spine, you press your fingers towards the ceiling as you take your buttocks down. Give her a little pressure in her lumbar spine side of the spine and then you circle back up. So for a lady we start on the left working with her hand. So I'm just going to give her a bit of support under her hand. And then we press here, palm press to warm up. Stretching the elbow. And then I work the central of the the central line of the arm, skipping the elbow. So it's the the seam of a top. If your partner were wearing a top, I walk up and down, rocking from side to side, right, left, right, left. Once you reach the top, you palm press at the arterial little arterial compression for 10 to 15 seconds and then you release and you palm press to cool down coming down the spine and going on stretching at the joint bringing her arm Always pressing slightly more at the sh at the proximal part of the body, closer to the center. Opening the joint, palm press here. And then the same thing here with the thumbs, trying to use the pad of the thumbs instead of just the tip, working up. rocking from side to side, and then you palm press to cool that down, and then you stretch the wrist, and you come to sit by her leg, and you slice, interlace, slice, interlace, stretch, open up the palm, so we're working the palm. And just a shift. Central point here. Thumb press. 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 Circle. Circle. Squeeze. Release. One thumb. 
both thumbs. Circle, circle, squeeze. One thumb. Circle, circle, squeeze. And then you release. Pull that down. And then I would compass the feet to work the other side, which I won't do now. Sorry. <laughs> and then you come, once you've done the other side, you come to her hair, palm to palm, press at the sternum, slide down, and release. And pressing down towards the feet using a rocking motion one, two, three times. And then taking her head towards one side. Making sure she's nice and aligned, ear in the center, chin pointing away. From here, pressing at the temple and at the shoulder, soft, hard, soft, and then finding the muscle that we work. Remember, there's a V there, a bony V, and you work inside that V. And then from here, you work in and up. So trying to get that muscle away from the spine. Once you reach this, the cervical here, the where the skull meets the neck, you circle outwards a little, and then you press the occipital joint. So it's just on the side of the spine. And you hold that there, you lock your thumb, press the forehead, so you're pressing thumb and forehead towards each other. And then you release. And you continue working down the way you came. So you just reverse what you did. And then press down towards the feet. And then you cool down. Two. Three. To turn the head, we do nice, nice. Cross the top arm on top. Turn the head. Realign and rework. And then you, once you've worked the other side, you bring her to the center and you circle on either side of the spine. So you're working up the back of the neck. Once you reach again where the skull meets the back of the neck, you're circling outwards. And I tend to use the index and middle finger for this because you get a little bit more pressure. And that feels quite nice, so you can do that several times. Yeah, outwards. Holding the head, turn the head from left to right, nice and gently. And then I give it a little traction pull towards you. Release. Thumb walk from the crown of the head towards the hairline. And this, again, reminder is to, for, to energize the body, so it's good for fatigue. Once you've reached, once you've done that up and down, you then press on the third eye, slide to the temples, circle at the temples, and shampoo the hair. Give your partner a moment of darkness or silence. And then you come to your partner's feet bring her up to sitting. And you need to make sure you can remove that pillow or mat. Bring her legs up. Let them balance. Find your own posture. Hold it here for a few breaths. And then knees into her knees as she drops open your inner open book position with your own feet, so like a first position for the baby bump behind. So she's in a cross-legged position, ask her to hold on to my wrists please. Inhale, exhale bring your chin to your chest. From here I bend my knees, I hold my tummy in and I straighten my back. And release, hold even further up the arms, inhale, exhale bend my legs, press my pelvis forward and lift my spine and release and last time back to the original holding posture inhale sorry exhale that's it <laughs> i walk backwards place her arms on the floor that's it inhale 
one hand on the coccyx, one between the shoulder blades, not on the back of the neck. Yeah. Just maybe straighten your elbows a little. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulder blade. Pelvis. Inhale. To the other diagonal. And then I hook her shoulders, bring her up to sit. Help her to find her alignment. Leg along the spine. Good. Ask her to bring her arms forward. Encourage her by touching her elbows. Please keep your elbows locked. Inhale. Um, as you exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Curve your spine. As you inhale, look up towards the ceiling and open the chest. I push towards her and then up. And exhale. Chin to chest. Inhale. I do three presses here, butterfly presses. And release. The third one is almost between the shoulder blades. It's quite high up. And that I ask you to hold as I then palm walk down. Working that muscle along the side of the spine. Then I palm walk back up again. And then I bring her to sit. Release. I'm then going to massage down one arm, just like an orange squeeze. Squeezing an orange. I bring her, my knee into her palm, and I have her shoulder blade exposed here, so I can use my the inside of my hand to warm it up. Lock your own elbow. Inhale. Exhale. Turn your head to the left. And release. So asking your partner not to spinal twist here. They're not doing it. If your partner does do a spinal twist, then it doesn't get deep into their shoulder blade. And your the pressure is coming into the shoulder blade with your thumb, and your elbow is locked. And you're working three or four points within the shoulder blade. Once you've done that, you then cool it down. You release that arm, you will then do the other side. Well, you don't want to do it, but you will get it. And then palms together. Quack, quack, quack. 